All right, guys, I hate bringing y'all bad news, but uh, the old Dodge coming home from Sonar the other day and uh, the, the timing went out on the truck. It did not blow up like the thumbnail shows, but in a sense, it kind of did because the timing chain you know, whatever went out on the truck. One good thing about this motor is the 4.7 liter Magnum uh, engine, and it is a non-interference engine. So if the timing belt or timing chain went out on it, you can sit there and spin it over and over and over and over, and it's not going to hurt the valves, none of that stuff. So the engine's not bad. It's just that we got to do a complete timing set change on it. Anything to do with the timing, we're gonna, we're gonna, we need to change. Um, so that being said, it's going to be a while before we can be able to afford to change all that. So us getting the new sonar and everything, it's really, really upsetting that we can't get out and sonar. Um, we was really excited getting the sonar, wanting to get out sonar and, you know, as much as possible as we could. But now with the truck being down, it does not have the receiver hitch on it and you cannot actually even put a receiver hitch on it that I'm aware of because there's nothing under there to attach it to. It's all open. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is um, the truck's tore up at this point, so we can't pull the boat to go sonar. And until we get this fixed, I've looked all the parts and everything up that we're going to need. It's somewhere around between six to $700 to get all the parts to fix the truck. And we're going to be... There's going to be a span in there where there's not going to be any videos coming out because of that reason. So I wanted to let you guys know that's why we're not really going to be active on our channel uh, for a little while until truck gets fixed and we can get back out sonar. All right, guys. So I just thought about it. Um, I'm going to start the vehicle and let you see what it's doing. Um, I have to pretty much hold my foot all the way to the floor to even get it started on the gas pedal. And that's about what it sounds like. I've done a lot of reading on it and a lot of videos and everything. Loss of power, backfiring, popping, things like that. And that's what it's doing. Um, running like poop. The timing, the timing has slipped a tooth or two. That's why it still starts and it'll still run a little bit, but you look your foot off the gas pedal and it's dead. So, We'll have to do, like I said earlier, we'll have to do the whole timing chain, gears, everything to do with the timing, which of course is around six, seven hundred dollars, you know, for the fluids and the water pump and all that to just completely redo it. Um, that way it's all new. <coughs> so it is what it is, guys. I'm sorry. And, uh, Hopefully we can get it fixed soon and get this taken care of and get back out sonar. So thank you guys for all your support. We love you guys. And until next time, stick with us.
That's probably his eye. And he's a big one and his foot buttons. Come on, I'm going to do the eye. I'll do the buttons. How about we do it like this? And then I'll do the buttons. And then we both can do the note. Well. Too fast. <laughs> Here you go. Now put his head on together. Wait, we gotta put his mouth on though. His mouth on? Yeah. He's gotta have nine of them. Can I do one side? Yes, you can help. Yeah. Here, take one. There's yeah. only three left now. Yeah, there's not. You can one, only two, do so many. Three, you gotta space them out. Now we need to where's this blade? Where's the flower? Oh, mommy! between his buttons. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here would be good. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> there. Now we gotta put a scarf on. And then let's say something. Put a scarf on and then you guys stand next to him so I can get a picture of you guys. Now y'all got to name him so he'll come alive. Frosty the Snowman! Alright, his name's Frosty. Frosty the Snowman! 